Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my video. And today I'll be doing a quick little test flight for you of my RoboCat 270 as you can see here. You might have seen my unboxing of the parts or my uh, three build videos, three parts of this. Um, but basically um, I went over everything I did to this, my third part, so I'm not going to do that now. It's just going to be a flight test. So I'm going to turn on my Tyrannus Welcome here. To open TX. Plug in my buzzer. Cause, whoops, because I don't have a telemetry set up yet. I'm not sure if I'm planning on to. Now let's, okay, plug in my battery. Okay, there we go. So I think I remember, should be my arming switch. Yep. There we go. And now the props I'm running are uh, FC model 5045 tri-blades. So on 2204 motors. So that's a lot of amp for those 12 amp ESCs, but they seem to be holding out fine. And it's pretty cold out right now, but um, I flew it. Ooh. What is, one of my props just exploded mid flight. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Well, I guess I gotta change props. I don't have any more of these right now, so I guess I'm gonna go two bladed ones. Well, I'll be back then. Okay, here we are back again, and you can see I have a uh, another prop here, same same prop, just an orange one. Now this one's already a little weak; it's got some stress marks on it. But that's the biggest problem with these FC model props. Some of them blow up midair, but at least um, with two blades, you still have enough power to bring it back to you without falling. However, there's terrible vibrations, so you don't want to fly with that as short as you can. So let's try again here. Okay, here we go. And now this is a Turnigy Nanotech 1300 milliamp hour uh, 3S battery, 4590C. So, not 4S, these ESCs wouldn't really like that much. But um, for a 3S setup, it's not too bad. There's a full speed pass, let's do full speeds while we have a full battery. With these props has so much power it actually gains height with full um, throttle and this is flying in uh, angle mode you can see pretty fast and pretty qu uh, quiet compared to my ZMR 250 that's because uh, this one isn't uh, full of vibrations in the frame and stuff And I'm running clean flight on this Naze 32 in there with the uh, Multi-Wii rewrite PID controller. And this is all stock PIDs. Stock Multi-Wii is perfect for this setup. I didn't have to change anything to get to fly this way, except my rates. It's hovering close here. Very, very stable. As you can see, I do have FPV gear on there right now, but I haven't, um, haven't actually flown FPV yet. I'm hoping to do my first FPV flight after this video here. See, there's my yaw. Let me get it closer. You can see there, pretty cool. So for a cheap $98 build <laughs> on Gearbest this kit, minus the props, because it only comes with 50-30 props, so two blades. So minus the props, battery, receiver, and FPV gear. I'd say this is a pretty good kit. And it really does perform for that lower price. It's definitely cheaper than buying everything separate. You can 
See, this thing's pretty awesome. So that's good enough for uh, angle mode flying. So let's put it into horizon mode, which will allow me to flip. You can see there. This flips pretty nice. He doubles. Let me get in closer. Really don't want to crash this, so I gotta be a little careful though. Ooh, couldn't do a double. Okay, I got my battery buzzer, so let's just bring it in, land it here. Okay, and get my buzzer unplugged, so uh, there we go. That was my quick little, uh, just quick test to show you how it's performing so far, my RoboCat 270. So stay tuned for more, including a review, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.